Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our last and final episode of Red vs. Green. We claim nothing in this but our opinions. Isn't that right, buddy? Of course it is. Always is. Alright. First we got a, uh, instead of the red guy chasing the green guy, we're going to have Triple H vs. The Undertaker at Wrestlemania in what I call, what I put together as a little bit of a Hell in a Cell with an Iron Man match stipulation. I call it surviving hell. Hi, Mom. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I said that wrong, didn't I? Hi, Cole Cabana. That's right. I'm breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> Hope everybody can see that. It's kind of... Sorry about the lighting and stuff. But, as you can hear, Triple H is coming out, and... Hey, you can kind of see him, too. Imagine that. Being able to see somebody... Woo, they look adult spinning. Imagine that, being able to see somebody on a video. Triple H, um... I hope you're watching this. It's, it, it's probably kind of weird, you know, when you play the game and you play yourself, and... He doesn't play as himself. He plays as Shawn Michaels. Yeah, and pictures. that's how it should be, the WWE, the rightful WWE Champion, the, the game. The picture is not quite as good because the camera's set up a little different than it was in the last video, so we're at a different studio this time, in a secret location. We're not in New York. On Philadelphia Street at all. Match over yet? Wee, belt spinning again. Just enjoying that, aren't you? For a little bit. Oh. Bring on the dead man. Now this is the dead guy. The dead guy. <laughs> the dead guy. He says. You know. On his last WrestleMania, I believe him and Triple H are going toe to toe until they can't stand anymore. And Young Digger gets taken out in a casket. Yeah, you took that idea, idea from me, but okay, I believe it. Well, Josh told me about the casket thing. So he's combining ideas from other people here. Yes, I'm combining other people's ideas and mine, and I claim them because I'm just that kind of guy. I'm an awesome guy. This takes too damn long. <laughs> the hell with your stupid entrance. <laughs> yeah. Shithead. Kick me. Kick you back. Hey, guess what? I got a chair. Yeah, so? I got dead man powers. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Who's got the chair now, motherfucker? <laughs> Who moved the owl? How about you? How's that feel on your ass, dead man? Yeah, yeah, shut up. So, what are we talking about on this episode? Um. Oh, wait, I wanted to start, didn't I? Yeah, you wanted to start. Okay. Uh, I wanted to start with, uh, CM Punk's promo on Vince McMahon and, you know, pretty much the whole situation in WWE, how he's leaving here in two weeks and all that. So, I'm guessing you saw that. Or at, least, actually, or, at least, or at least heard about it. Actually, I've, I've heard about it. I just... I can't say I saw it because... You know, without that actual showstopper and the game and the... You know, and everyone else... Raw just... Wrestling's not the same. That's true. You know, I can't wait till The Undertaker and Triple H are gone, so I can't watch... I don't have to watch it anymore. Yeah. Because John Cena just... It's the same he's old just, freaking story. He's just a damn bowl of fruity pebbles walking around. But anyway, yeah. back to CM Punk, what I was saying. Sorry, you didn't mean to steal that rock. Okay, he probably did. I did. Anyway, uh, back to what I was saying about Punk, though. Um, somewhere I saw that uh, 
supposedly it's a storyline about Punk uh, leaving the brand and all that crap. And uh, but I won't I won't mention any you know inside sources like PW Torch or anything that might have told me that. So, uh, but anyway, personally I don't think it's a storyline. I think it's serious. But that's just me. I think it's an honest to god like. Uh, and honestly, got to fight. I he's becoming attached to the chair. <laughs> I don't. He might be glued. Or is it super no, glued? No, not glued. Super glued. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, what do you think about it? Um, I. You know, I honestly, I, <laughs> I still say, you know, if Vince wants to make his money, because TNA is getting all the popularity, yeah, I still say, I still say he needs to, you know, buy out TNA and have a TNA WWE thing, because, you know, the last time it was WWE versus WCW, the ratings for the WWE and that WCW pay-per-views were th through the roof. Yeah. Because they get, kept on talking trash to each other on the show, and yeah. fans tuned in to see that. Well, if you remember, WWE was losing the Monday Night Wars for a while. Yeah. And then they started winning at the end. Looks what I got. Oh, he's got the sledgehammer, folks. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. <laughs> Crap. Damn you, your sledgehammer. Damn you, Neil Caffrey! I mean, what? Where did you, where did you get Caffrey? I don't know. This could be the difference maker. That's it. I've had enough of this shit. Hey, don't mean to ruin our parade, but, uh, we're coming up on set. We're coming up on eight minutes for our first segment. So, did you cut it off or is it No. We're still going. So, still going. <laughs> we'd like to, um, right now, pause this game for a quick bathroom break. Shit. Tombstone, tombstone, tombstone. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Folks, we're going to pause this game and we are going to continue in our second segment. See you shortly. <laughs> 